So a week ago today, I advised you guys that there was going to be a new DJI Fly app which covers the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini 2 and the Mavic Air. So the new version was version 1.2.4. Now, it, I don't entirely know what's going on at the moment, but it does look like we're possibly not going to see any more versions of the DJI Fly app launched on the Google Play Store for some time, given the fact that the new version has an inbuilt way of checking to see if you're on the latest version. However, iOS devices didn't even get that update until this morning. Now, I'm reliably informed that that is now out there and launched on the iOS App Store, and that is available for download. But with Google Play not showing the latest version, that suddenly isn't anymore. Now, I did a tutorial on how to manually install this app version 1.2.4 by going onto the DJI website and downloading it manually. If you haven't already seen that, then please do go check that out. There'll be a card above my head right about now. However, what's happened today is even if you have got that version 1.2.4, not quite sure if there's been any revisions or anything like that at the moment because if you turn on your DJI Mavic Mini or Mini 2 or, D or Mavic Air 2 and you open up the DJI Fly app, you're going to get a notification just like the one on screen now to say that your app needs an update. Um, so even though it is up to date, for some reason, I think it needs to update through this process to make sure it's fit and up to date um, for any future uh, updates going forward. So just to let you know that that is completely normal, I've done it myself and I've gone out and flown with the drone since then. So what I'm going to do is just show you a quick tutorial on how you do that and just show there's nothing to be worried about and how to make sure that your phone's got permission to do it as well because... Sometimes your phones don't automatically allow it, so it might block the install until you do this little step. But I'll show you on the tutorial now. So first things first, we've opened up the DJI Fly app, and straight away, new version available. What's new? Supports in-app updates to allow you to download and install the version of DJI Fly, as device management on the profile to allow you to learn more about your DJI devices and check the usage data, fix certain issues and improvements, overall app stability and user experience. Right, so downloading new version, now, what you're going to see is I'm just going to quickly swipe down just to make sure that's now downloading. As you can see, 26%. So we're just going to quickly jump to the end. So there you go, then that's downloaded. So we're just going to return to the DJI Fly app. For your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source, but that's absolutely fine. We're just going to click that settings button now. And we're just going to slide the little slider across to say that it's okay. There you go, we're going to click install, we're back on the DJI Fly app now, click install, that's going to install now, and because it's just an update, you're not actually going to see any settings lost, or you're going to have to log back in again, you're going to keep all your existing data, there you go, so that's installed, we're going to open that back up, so as you can see, initializing the resource data, we've done this all this, all this before guys, you know, when we did it previously, but for some reason, this is the new way of doing it, and there you go, as you can see on screen, we are all installed, ready to fly. So I'm not entirely sure what the meaning is behind this little step. One thing I've actually noticed is if you look back on screen now and you can see the settings option. So what it seems is what will happen now is the 1.2.4 will be, I imagine, the series of the app. Okay, and then if you look, there is a little number in brackets after that on my phone that says 919. So I imagine this is the series and then a version number. So it looks to me like, you know, the, the app series might be a little bit more generic in future and I might just tweak it with certain little versions. Um, just one thing to, for you to note, just to make sure you're on the same one as everyone else. So... Yeah, little interesting uh, thing that I've just noticed there. So anyway, I do think it's something to do with the fact that these updates are not going to be on the Play Store anymore. Um, whether that's going to get resolved in the future, I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like DJI have built in a way now where you have to effectively use the app to update the app for new versions. Which hopefully might mean we'll get them a little bit quicker. Because traditionally iOS did actually get updates before Android did. And it looks like this might be a quicker, more efficient way of doing it. Obviously, I do understand that some of you may have some reservations because there has been some issues with the app in the past. But it looks like that this is going to be the only way to do it if you're going to want to continue flying your drone. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you again soon.